All right, guys, as you can see, it is that wonderful time of the year again. Just pulled out the two um, log splitters and uh, getting them going. Oh, man. September 5th. And uh, I got a lot of wood in. A lot of wood in. That wall's about 100 feet long. So, um, gonna give the old Lickety here, 1959 Lickety split the first shot, see how she does, and then we'll try the newer model there, and, uh, see how she does. Alright, but, uh, old Lickety here, she usually starts right up despite the fact, hey, look what we got here. Looky what we got here. Hmm. Yeah. We got a nice little snake skin here. Yep. All right. So, oh, look at he was keeping the garter snakes, or whatever the hell that was. Doesn't look much bigger than a garter snake to me, giving it a uh, residence since last year. All right, we're gonna. Uh, just throw some gas in it and uh, fire it up, see what the hell happens. Take it from there. Be right back. All right, guys, a second thought. Um, I'm not even going to try to start the uh, look at it here. I'm looking at the crap coming out of the side over here. I'm pointing my finger. The um, shroud here is packed full of shit. Um, thinking about the snake skin here. And my experience has always been wherever there's snakes. There are mice, so I'm going to take this shrouding off and uh, see what we got underneath there, clean it all out, and uh, give her a good fresh start, whether it needs it or not, clean up the coil, check the wiring, so, okay, sit tight. Alright guys, so we got it all cleaned out really well. I used the leaf blower here. Blow all the small stuff out. It works great. Get the nozzle down in there. Um, and uh, me working on this flywheel. Cleaning it all up. Getting the rust off it. Especially the magnets, and particularly the magnet area here. Okay, I'm a believer in uh, cleaning that up. As well as the coil contacts. I know uh, most guys don't believe it's important. I just don't think there's any reason why not to. So I always do it. Um, anyway, you, time you work on an engine, turning it over by hand like this, okay? Always disconnect your spark plug wire, always. Okay, that engine is perfectly timed and everything is perfectly right. That's just my kick package and take your finger off. So just be cautious of that. One other thing I wanted to mention, um, these screws here that you take the shroud off with, right? Four, sometimes there's six of them, okay? When you put these back on, if you happen to lose one, okay, you must be careful to get the exact same length. Because if you get longer ones, okay, depending on where the where the screw goes in, okay, it can make contact with the flywheel. And can actually jam it up. I actually had an engine once that uh, uh, it acted like it was seized. And what happened was the person that owned the engine put two long screws in there. He said I took the shroud off to see if anything was stuck in there, causing it to be jammed up. And he said, he says, uh, I took the shroud off. I was able to turn the, the engine over by hand. But then when I put the shroud back on, the starter wouldn't turn the engine. Well, I knew exactly what it was immediately. The screws, he replaced two of them with longer screws. So it's a simple, silly thing, but it's uh, one of these things that people that don't do this all the time overlook. You must get the exact same length screws, okay? Very, very important. Otherwise, you're gonna have a uh, silly problem that really isn't a problem, it's your fault. Okay, so 
All right, guys, we're gonna um, finish cleaning her up and get her ready to fire. Back soon. All right, boys, we got her all back together. Got a new uh, fuel filter on, fresh fuel. Um, took the carburetor off, just cleaned it out quick, put it back on. So let's give it a crank and see what happens. See ya. It's the first crank since last October, actually. So, where the hell's my crank? Oh. Okay. You guys have seen my videos in the past know I use an old disc from another lawnmower that has the gear in the back. Because my, uh, my full spring weight on this. And uh, I've gotten really lazy about replacing it. Since once I start this engine, she don't shut off for hours. Split wood. It's like I'm starting and starting it repeatedly. So I don't give a damn. Alright, let's give it a crank and see what happens. Not the best uh, view, but it's going to have to do. Switch. So she's ready to go. 